Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a little library haul and book haul. It's a really tiny book haul, I should say. Um, two books that I ordered from the book depository would have been two weeks ago. It's probably the longest it's taken, really, from using that site. But they've arrived, and I'm very excited. Um, the deal I make with myself um, for ordering from the book depository is it has to be something that I can't get in an Australian store, at least not readily, and that um, isn't available at the library as well. And it also has to be a reasonable price too. I, l I prefer it to be under ten dollars because that's in Australian dollars and that's pretty damn cheap for a book over here. So, any hoozles? I got Rampant by Diana Peterfriend. Um, I've wanted this book well since it was released. That would have been at least a year ago. Um, but for a long time, it was only available in hardback, so it was pretty. In my definition, it was expensive. So, hurrah! Killer unicorns and a title of Rampant. Which is just a hilarious word. I love that word. I'm really excited. I can't get the sequel yet, which is Ascendant, because that's only in hardback at the moment. But if I enjoy this book, and I do hope I will, I'll certainly be getting the sequel. I've wanted to read this one for quite a long time. The Adoration of Jenna Fox. And I've never seen this cover before. I've seen the hardback one, where there's a butterfly on her hand. And I've seen the really cool-looking paperback, where it's like jigsaw pieces coming out of her face. And I really like that one too. But this is pretty cool too. It's all blue. It's creepy. I'm looking forward to this because I've heard some really good things about it. So hopefully I'll enjoy it. And then from the library, some more reserves came in. <sighs> so I got Finnegan of the Rock, which is a Marlena, Marlena Machetta book. And I have wanted to read this one because it's her first fantasy novel. It came out two years ago. Of course, it was just released in the US this year. I have to say, I do feel proud that there's something Australia gets before America does, and that is Australian authors' novels, so that's fitting. Um, I guess that explains why uh, Jellicoe Road, or over here it's called On the Jellicoe Road, um, why that one's been so popular this year. I haven't been able to work it out why it's being read by everybody in the US suddenly, because it's been out here for four years? Four years or six years? been a while, so I was really confused by that. But any who's all, um, yeah, I got this one. And A, I love the cover, and the um, narrative sounds really cool, and a friend of mine read it and really, really enjoyed it, and said that um, that she thinks that Melina writes very well in this genre, so keep it going. We need more Aussie fantasy authors, aside from the few that we have that are really cool. And they're all women, too. I like that. Um, and I got the first book in Meg Cabot's um, Mediator series, which I know has been out for some time. Um, I'd never really heard of, heard of it until late last year. So, um, and that was, I think I was watching a review of Je uh, Jessica Reviews Twilight, and then she recommended um, other novels that you might enjoy if you liked the Twilight series. And, um, not saying I did like the Twilight series, but I certainly read it. And, yeah, this just sounds like it would be fun. Ghosts. Sexy ghosts. Haunting a girl. So. And yay! Robin McKinley. I haven't read a... Rom da, 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 da. I haven't read a Robin McKinley book for a while. And as I said before, I love her because she does fairy tale retellings. And this is The Hero and the Crown. It's recommended by a lot of people if you like Grey Fling. Because it's got a really strong warrior heroine, and so I thought I'd like to give that a read. And of all Robin McKinley's works, this is the one that seems to universally get the, like, one of the best ratings and the strongest, most positive reviews, so I thought I'd read this one. So that's that for now. Um, I'm glad that I have these books at the moment to add to my huge pile over there because I'm feeling very miserable at the moment. I have two hospital trips coming up in the next fortnight. Um, I've got operations to undergo because I'm not well. So um, it's nice to have these things to cheer me up a little bit. I also just watched the Rocky Horror Glee episode <laughs> streaming on the internet. So that cheered me up too because that was actually quite enjoyable. I was a bit hesitant about how I'd take to that one because it's a very inconsistent show lately. But I really do love Glee and um, it was good. It was enjoyable. And I was singing along. I did a bit I did a bit of a time walk. I won't deny it. 
And I like seeing John Stamos because I loved him in Full House. Ah, oh, Full House, the 90s. Anyway, I'm rambling. So this is my books for now. Hooray! And as you might see, I don't know if you can see too well. I'll turn it that way a little bit. But I've found, I've got back some of my YA fantasy books from friends. So I've redone this area of the bookcase yet again. So, um, yeah, we've got titles back. There's still quite a few that are missing, but got a few back, so it's good. And they can all sit in their little... They're so pretty. Oh, they're pretty. Okay. I think I'm delirious. Might need a nap. Okay. That's all for now. So, um, hope you, you're all doing well, having a nice day or evening. And happy reading, guys. Till next time.